back with Zemo again and he's willing to stay in and rather to do another video before he leaves but um, you know we're going to talk about rough suburbs Zemo can you please explain your your suburbs that you've been living in uh, well, I used to live in uh, Bromettas um, that's a notorious place for crime and gangs the Bordy Boys pretty notorious throughout Australian I guess history um, in that area for being uh, violent and doing all kinds of shifty stuff uh, Dandenong is also known for the same business, uh, gang violence. You hear a lot of drama on the news, stuff like that. So I lived both in Boy Meadows and Dandenong in my lifetime. I moved to Dandenong last year. Oh, year before that. <laughs> so, as you guys may know, I recently moved down to Melbourne and I also brought up in the rough suburbs and I brought up in Auburn, I brought up in Bankstown. And, you know, it's interesting for me to come down to Melbourne and, you know, people have been telling me, Hey Will, don't go to Daddy Long, you gotta get stabbed. <laughs> or don't go to Broad Meadows, oh, you gotta get killed, or, or this and that, or it's always on the news, you know, it's scary. Zay, yep. you've been living in this suburb. Have you ever get stabbed or killed or anything like that? Oh, uh, well, in Broad Meadows, I, um, I never ran into anything to like shifty like that. I did see some stuff that happens in every suburb though. I've been here out in the CBD of Melbourne near some of the nicest like houses you can find. I've seen some pretty shifty stuff. Greenvale, another suburb that's really peaceful and portrayed as a nice place with big houses and good prospects. But um, there's a lot of drug dealing going on there. So, To be honest, you know, me and Zaymo, we walk pretty much three in the morning and nothing goes on with us. I know the new coverage mentioned about Bankstown, there's death, stabbing going on with Bankstown Station, or, you know, beheading stories. It keeps going on. So, the suburb reputation is bad, but that doesn't classify everyone is bad. And, I, look, I, I don't mind going to whatever the suburb he goes to or he, where he lives in, but I felt like why people generalise or, or the stigma saying that, oh, this is bad, you got to get killed, or there's a lot of this sort of minority group, they, they're bad, they're bad, or this minority, or they're bad, you know, what for? Like, we live in a world, like, Australia's like one of the safest countries in the world. Yeah, I've, I've walked um, in Dandenon train station, which has, have, has had some pretty bad occurrences in the past, at, you know, two to one o'clock at night, and I have not run into anything. It's actually quite peaceful and quiet. I walk uh, down down on itself. A lot of other of my friends, they drive and stuff. So when I tell them I'm walking, they're like, oh, you know, why are you walking? You know, you're going to get killed. You're going to get stabbed. You're going to gonna get robbed, man. What are you doing? You know, and I've never run into anything like that. See, the news is being portrayed this sort of stuff. I think the best answer for me and Zayn to say to you guys, don't be afraid. Obviously, go to areas that you know, not close or, you know, close friendship with that sort of people because uh, more high chances of you getting to that sort of um, state. You, you, get, you, you get bad and good everywhere. If, you, um, if you're walking around, I don't know, Dan and I get at like 3 o'clock in the morning out in an alleyway or something, then you're just asking for trouble if you're walking at like 2 o'clock down, I don't know, one of the main roads, you're not going to find much trouble. It's the same deal with if you were in, I don't know, Richmond or Turak or something. If you were walking, I don't know, near, you know, an alleyway or something like that would that would encourage danger, then you're going to find it. But if you walk on on a street and uh, have cars passing you by, it's like a normal commute area, you won't find trouble. Yeah, that's the video. And yeah, be brave. Just go out. Just know what you're doing. And make sure you tell everyone where you are at all times and stay away from issues and trouble. If you see trouble, just walk the other way, that's all it is. And no matter where you are, you'll Very find simple. Yeah. Very, very simple. It happens in the CBD as well. CBD is not everywhere. happy everywhere. Everywhere right. on the road. <laughs> you still want to talk more. Yeah. All right, then. <laughs> hey, but we'll, we'll do something a bit more collab later on. All right, then. So, uh, yeah, that's the video. Zayma, any final thoughts? Uh, yeah, as, as my man here was saying, uh, don't be afraid. Uh, keep an open mind for everything, everything in the world. You gotta keep an open mind. You gotta be happy. You gotta, you gotta promote happiness. That's all you gotta do. That's it. That's the video. 
I will, W3 will be with strong power. I am off. Oh, you enjoyed these videos and you want more? Click subscribe. I make weekly videos and yeah, what are you waiting for? Is either you click up there or type up the bar and say Linda Builder. Done deal. Builder dropping some knowledge.